at little walkthrough changes I've been working on this weekend. Um, I mentioned on the list and in the on Twitter a couple of things I've been working on um, in the four point or seven point five x branch. Um, specifically, this is related to um, a feature request that shows up every now and again, which is um, the ability to preview results before they get run. So I'm going to quickly show you. Um, actually, uh, there are settings in the um, configurations window. Uh, Mark editor, um, preview settings. Right now, um, all data is being processed. Eventually, it'll work like this. Um, uh, I figure most people will have files under 100 megabytes. Um, that's why the, that's the limit um, that I'm shooting for. This will allow you to preview um, uh, data before you run um, full global edits. Uh, so let's see how this looks. So um, the idea here is that in the current versions of Mark Edit, if you wanted to try something, say, for example, you were going to edit a subfield and you wanted to delete a subfield, you would have to um, process it and then uh, see how many modifications were made, review it, and if you didn't like it, then you go back and undo it. Um, so the idea here is to um, remove those steps if there are things that you're not sure that um, you want to be doing. So to the end, 245, so fill H, delete these buttons here on the side. These will drop down a preview results. And so the tool will go ahead and um, run the preview results, drops them into a grid. Um, so you can see um, what's been changed. The top is the original. The second one is the change record. Um, you can select items and copy them to the clipboard. Um, so that you can take them. Um, you can save the entire list. Uh, you'll notice by default only the first 500 are loaded. So um, if you want to see the next 500, you can load records. I'll load the next 500 records into the set. And if I want to see the rest of them, I can load again. So it'll load them in 500 record increments. Um, you can search for data inside um, the data sets. You can jump to a particular ID. Um, these will these represent record numbers in the uh, in the system. Uh, record numbers start at one, so you can go through and see um, uh, what record. You'll notice there are gaps when there's not a uh, record to be changed. A gap will show up. So these are the uh, physical records inside the file. Um, and when you're done, you can just close it. And either run the task or run the action or not run the action. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't create, uh, the preview doesn't create an entry in the log file. It doesn't um, change the uh, data in the file that you're working on. Uh, you'll find these new preview functions once this has been released in the replace all. You'll also find the um, preview function in the add and delete field, the copy field, the edit field, indicators subfield field edits I showed, and then in the swap field. Uh, folks uh, have suggestions on other ones they'd like to see that added to you can let me know. And um, I will add it to um, the set potentially. So there's a few little uh, cleanup items I need to do um, to finish this up, but this will be uh, part of the next uh, 7.5.x beta release that will be happening uh, sometime in the in the next week or so.